Okay, we're gonna make some cow masks today. You will need for your supplies is some paper. You'll need a pencil and an eraser. You'll need some kind of tape, like scotch tape. And a popsicle stick and some scissors. Now, let's get started with drawing our cow. First, we're gonna draw a big circle for the face shape. And then we will draw some circles for eyes so we know where we need to cut out so we can see. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the nose. A cow's nose is pretty big, so I'm just gonna make a kind of big curvy shape here, sort of like a bean. And I'm just gonna erase some lines. And don't forget the nostrils, they have to be pretty big too, right? And then I'm gonna draw a little jaw or a mouth. Maybe you wanna make your cow eating grass, who knows? I'm just gonna adjust the face a little bit here. And then we'll do some ears. These ears are pretty simple. Kind of like my monster mask from last week. And then I'm gonna make some horns. You can make them big, you can make them little, whatever you like. Maybe you don't wanna have horns with on your cow at all. And cows have spots, so you can put spots wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. They can be big, they can be small, whatever feels right. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to erase some of my guidelines here that I drew earlier. You can do this now or, or you can do it later. And then I think I need to add some hair to my cow. I'm going to add curly hair because I think that would be cool. Maybe you want to make spiky hair. Maybe you want your cow to be bald. You can do whatever you like. Alright, once it looks good, you can take a marker or a pen and you can outline it. You don't have to outline this mask and this drawing if you don't want to, but I think it's just so much easier to see all the lines, and it really makes it pop. Now when you're done outlining, um, you can erase your guidelines. Just make sure you don't erase your eyes, unless you outlined your eyes. You can definitely do that, that's totally okay. Now it'll get rid of all the pencil. Okay, and when you're all done outlining, it's time to color. I'm going to use some crayons here, but you can use pencil crayons or markers or whatever you prefer. And then once you're done col coloring, you can cut it out. Now for the eyes, I used cardstock for this paper, so I have to use a different trick. I just use my pencil and I poke a hole right into the eye socket there. Just like so. And then I can use my scissors to cut out a lot easier. 
You can always ask for help at this step though. But when you're all done, next thing we need to do is attach the popsicle stick to the back. And I'm gonna use tape for this. I just find that it works easiest. Just place the popsicle down and just grab some tape. And that's it. You're all done.